Good. Hey, came back here with the head coach, Chris Love of the Olympic College Rangers. Well, a little tough one tonight, but you know, you look up and down this lineup, coach, it's all freshmen and they're all learning. <laughs> Yeah, we have a lot of girls just fresh out of high school in their COVID seasons, and um, a lot of them from some really small programs. So we, I went out and recruited some girls with lots of potential, and right now we're just working on that game IQ, basic fundamentals, and just learning how to work through those points. Um, and we struggled a little bit in that last step, but the first two were right where we want them to be on every point. They're working hard, um, and I think it's about to click. We're getting there. You get some good height up front though when you get the ring. I'm Morgan Shoemaker from Alma Mater, North Mason, by the way. <laughs> uh, and you got uh, uh, Brooke Gerber Perham at six foot, Ellie Budenich from Bonnie Lake at six three. So yeah. uh, when they start gelling up front, things are going to start turning around for this program. Yeah, definitely. Uh, blocking is always one of the most challenging things for a team to get cohesive at, and I think that it's taken us some time, but we are putting up a lot of really big, powerful blocks up front um, and really swinging away, and it's fun to watch, and I'm really enjoying watching them start to click with their right sides and get in that rhythm. We get a bunch of freshmen. It's easy to get down on themselves mm -hmm. when they're not winning games. This is only the second one. The well, first one, really, got a, we had a, uh, a scrimmage, and now this is kind of the real deal. McNeil but, uh, you know, what are you going to say to these girls and go to the locker room to kind of keep their heads up as they go to the next contest? Yeah, it's, it's all about having them identify those things that they are doing well. And I think there's a lot of really good pieces to the puzzle right now. Um, and it's natural for, for women athletes, especially ones who are who are used to being successful in their smaller programs, to come to college and, and struggle a little bit. Um, but I think it'll make them tougher. And we're really talking about resilience in our program and really fighting through those points and not giving up. And, and that's just a lot of a lot of positives and really building on every good thing that we're doing. And our bench is doing a really amazing job. Um, and our OC fans have been fantastic about really supporting us and, and celebrating every point, the good and the bad and the ugly. And Wasn't a bad crowd for uh, oh. people been jones in for some volleyball. Yeah, it's a, it's, there's not much to do on a Friday night during COVID. So this is really fun to see the crowd. And yeah, our athletes have been supportive of each other. And it's a really fun thing to watch. Well, I find that I wasn't be able to be, I wasn't be able to get inside a gym last year. You were. You started off last year as their Olympic College volleyball coach last year. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so we weren't able to have a program last season. Um, I took over uh, in December, um, and it just wasn't feasible for our out-of-town girls to be coming in um, and playing a season with a small team and, and with some COVID issues. So we really just decided to take a season off and recruit hard. Uh, so we got this big class of freshmen, and we're excited to see where they go. And I think next season is even going to be greater with a huge team of sophomores. It'll be great. Thanks, Coach. Thank you.